Bobby Pangong. So we're going to join it with our friends. So welcome uh, to Cooking with Arnold and today we're going to make a quite a, a interesting dish. It's called Babi Pangang. And Babi Pangang is actually a Chinese dish uh, which is sold in the Chinese restaurants in, uh, in, in the Netherlands. It's actually the most popular dish um, actually from the, the restaurants. But Babi it's actually the name for pork in Indonesian. So it's actually a mix from Indonesian and Chinese style cooking. What we need for this dish is a nice piece of pork neck. And um, this is actually the best piece of the, uh, of the, of the pork to make this uh, dish. Um, this we're going to cook before we prepare it it must be well done but we will show that to you and we will cook it in water with some ginger with some uh, sesame uh, soya oil and sweet soya oil so salt a little bit of broth powder and we're going to cook this quite long. It will take about one and a half to two hour slow cooking until the meat is really well done. And then very important with this dish is the sauce. And for the sauce we need uh, onions, garlic, we have some flour, sugar, ginger, a little bit of rock powder instead of vichin, some tomato puree, sambal and some vinegar. How we're going to make this out we also will show you later. And very important with this dish is the so-called acha champua. It's vegetables. It is carrot, cabbage with turmeric, salt and vinegar and sugar. But okay, so that's actually three dishes, but we're going to start now with cooking the meat. So now we're going to do step one. Uh, we have cold water, we have the, uh, the, the meat, and in the water we do now soya. So, then we have the white wine, vinegar, we have the ginger and what is anise, what is anise, I don't know what anise is, anise, I don't know, okay, and then we put the meat in here, salt, pot powder, and now we're going to uh, boil it and let it slowly cook until it's well done. So for the sauce, we start with cutting the ginger. Put it in the, um, how you call it, machine? Dicer. The dicer. In order, in order to get it very nice and well cut, we put a little bit of oil and we also add two spoons of sambal ulek. So to start, we um, put some uh, butter in the wok. We melt the butter and then we're going to add this has to fry for about 15 minutes. For the uh, vegetables 
we take the, uh, the cabbage, we take out the center, the uh, tomato paste. So it's important that the uh, tomato paste is also well done, otherwise it will be too um, uh, too sour. Now we're going to add the the flour to the sauce. Now we are um, to add some water. Wine. Uh, sugar. Going to add some salt. Instead of fishing, we put some chicken broth powder. So we want to have a nice sauce without lungs. Need to the uh, vegetables. And now we're going to add some salt. Mix it. This will give a very nice yellow color to the uh, acha. So what is now the idea? To leave it here for about one hour and then we come to wash off the salt. Acha champua. No oil, just in its own. So, also here we do a little bit of the some sugar, vinegar, and also the carrot. Okay, the, uh, the acha champur is uh, ready. And there is also another way to make this acha, but it takes about a week. And then you don't have to uh, fry it. You just put it in a pot, together with the vinegar and the sugar, yeah? And you just leave it there for one week, and you have the best acha you can think of. That's what I usually do. Okay, so the, uh, the pork, neck is now nice and well done and then now we let it cool down when it is cold we're going to cut it in slices and we will show you how to continue so now we are going to uh, finish the last bits of the uh, Babi Pangang and we are here with uh, our neighbors and um, they're all for some Holland and we really like uh, to taste uh, them the uh, Babi Pangang. So here we have the pork and the idea is that we're going to slice it up. This is like this. Look you already can see it's very nice and well done. Uh, the Acha Champur and what we do we're going to put on a plate so, so here we have the uh, the meat we uh, we put some uh, oil just take the uh, a very simple uh, uh, soya oil and we need to um, heat it up until about 80 degrees in the meantime we warmed up the, uh, the sauce next step is that we're going to uh, deep fry the pork and we're going to deep so we uh, nicely uh, deep fry them in the, um, in, the, in the oil and the idea is now that we going to small cuts oh, and then we put it on the Yes. Okay, all looks perfect. And then we're going to put the sauce. Like this. Bobby Pango. So we're going to join it with our friends. 
Bobby Pangan, the, the most popular Indonesian Chinese dish in the Netherlands. Cheers! 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 Cheers. 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 And enjoy the Bobby Pangan. Thank you, Arnold. Thank you, Arnold. Thank you, Arnold.